All right, guys, we're gonna do take two on the intro. I recorded the first time around, walked my ass all the way out here, explained the whole job just to look down. My audio recorder ran out of battery, so take two. We're over here at Lance's, my farmer buddy. We're running the Who Dig. Basically, what we got going on is he is going to create a two tiered retaining wall around this whole barn area here. And so, as you can see, we've already taken a fair amount of material out here. He had about 10 to 15 feet worth of topsoil piled up against this edge that we've been hauling out to back over there. And then on the other side of the house, we're actually gonna start taking a bunch over there. So that's what we've been removing is the topsoil so that we can kind of get to this sandy material behind it. And that's what we're actually gonna shape. And it's gonna be a rough grade. We're not doing anything serious today. It's just kind of rough grading this out, but you can see all the way down this edge, we've got to take that topsoil out of here. So that is the plan. I'll fool around with this for four and a half or so hours, and we'll kind of put the hoodig to the test on a residential, more type of residential situation. I think tomorrow the plan is maybe doing some drain tile with it. And then Wednesday through Friday, we're actually going to be working with Van Gordon Land Solutions out on a tree clearing job, moving some logs around. So. Yeah, we should get some interesting content. So with that being said, assuming my audio recorder just captured all of that, I'm going to go fire up the Hootig and get it warming up. I'll catch you in the machine. So we'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. We are uh, officially operating with the Hootig for the first time. And uh, I'm about 10 minutes into really doing anything substantial with this thing. Oh my gosh, this is the most amazing machine. Come on now. There we go. I mean, look at the way you can manipulate things. This is just nuts. And I know for any Europeans watching, you're like, yes, you dumb American. This is, uh, this is what operating should be. Well, guess what? I am a dumb American that doesn't have access to one of these all the time. And I'm just now learning about how freaking cool these things are. Awesome. And you guys can't even see that on the GoPro, it occurs to me. It's going to be really hard to capture like what all is happening because I'm all over the place. This isn't like an excavator where I can just uh, show you guys one unique shot. This thing is freaking sweet. This is nutty. This is just totally messing with my brain. Okay guys, I'm gonna cut this off and practice. I thought I would show you guys some of the uh, work mode in the front and I'm fair warning here. So the visibility in this machine in the front is pretty bad. Um, I don't know how they would do it a heck of a lot different, but one of my uh, things is the bucket level indicator on the front is not really lined up so under normal circumstances that wouldn't be a big deal because um, wait a minute, first gear um, because you you would just use the flat part on the top of your bucket if this were a loader but the problem with this bucket is that flat part is low enough you can't really see it um, when the bucket is all the way down on the ground and so I'm having to operate a lot just by feel. And you know how it is when you start operating by feel. It just takes a little bit before you actually get a feel. And that's kind of where I'm at right now in my who dig operational abilities. And visibility really isn't that bad on this machine outside of when you're doing things with the front bucket. That is just it. Like I said, I don't know how they would do it a heck of a lot different uh, because of the fenders and everything that they got going up there, but but it is, it's pretty rough for doing any sort of grade work with your bucket. Stop. 
still learning how to get a full bucket because you know visibility conditions sight conditions sight picture that's the word i'm looking for sight picture I'm trying to figure out my sight picture so right now i'm in low range but when i click to forward so i'm going to hit high range click to forward and then yeah that wasn't a very smooth shift we'll try that again on the next one still getting it down guys just just cut me some slack here still cutting it down or still trying to get the hang of it i got 14 things going on and i'm trying to watch, make a video at the same time so you know just cut me some slack here Let's see if i can knock the high spot off here without digging maybe not really still got a little bit i knocked a little of the high spot off Alright, I'm actually going to shut the cameras off so I can full on concentrate on learning this beast. And uh, I'll catch you guys here in a little bit. So we're not doing anything ultra fancy here. Basically what I'm doing is uh, pulling this wall back just a hair more. I'm just throwing the outrigger down for basically a little safety, just because I'm still learning the limitations of this machine. Um, I'm also still learning the tilt rotator for sure. So you guys are gonna have to bear with me on the tilt rotate. Um, but anyway, I'm pulling this wall back so it's kind of even all the way down here. That is my plan right now. And then I will start cutting the wall a little later. But I want to take a little bit more of this topsoil here. I don't know what I'm doing with this tilt rotator. Still learning, ladies and gentlemen, still learning, very much learning. guys end of day it was not a long day we've been at it for i don't know four ish hours maybe not even that long because we were dinking around with some stuff but we moved some material so this side doesn't really look any different than it was earlier today but it's around the corner 
let us walk over there. We'll show you what you, what we got. I will say it's got more ruts in it. We should say that. We put some more ruts in it than there were earlier. But over here is where we did all of our moving. So we pulled all that material back with the, uh, with the back end of the machine towards the end of the day there. Uh, and then this whole face has moved in at least 10 feet. So it, this was built out, you can see roughly this last pass that I did, well, in through here. Let me look on my camera screen, so I'm actually pointing to it. That last pass uh, is kind of where that dirt was. So it doesn't look like we moved much, but we've moved a substantial amount of material out of here. Didn't have time to really shape it today uh, like I thought I was going to, so not a big deal. But man, that machine is fun to play in. You know, the small, few small complaints I've had, you know, the, the bucket is probably the biggest real complaint I've got so far. But even then, like this thing is so much fun to play in and the things you can do with it, the ability for me to zip around on this job like I have been in both forward and reverse, it's just, man, the possibilities of this machine. So I did get word today, our week has changed. We're no longer going out on the forestry job, the, the land clear job. Unfortunately, that fell through. So we're going to focus on doing some drain tile later this week with Lance. We'll get out there with the big tile plow. He's actually gonna have his operator out there with their 308 or their 315. I'm not sure which machine. And we're gonna do some kind of dig off races to see who can kind of locate and get down to it the quickest, um, just to kind of compare machines and the abilities of the machine. So that'll be fun. So yeah, that looks like it's gonna be the rest of our week. So stay tuned and we'll catch you guys here shortly.